finished. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, come along. It's time for us to meet with Delphine. Come on in. Let me know. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. And I'll send someone over. All right. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Really? This should be good. That didn't take long. I've been doing this a long time, remember? <laughs> While so the you Thalmor say. have been looking for me, I've been watching them. So, what is this plan? How do... I think you're sending me to the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wendt regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Well, I'm interested in knowing who this contact of yours is. Are you sure I can trust him? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. And just how am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor Tony, you'll get past the guards. And once that's done, a bed is right nearby. And once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. All right, then. I will see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. Well, I think this is going to be a solo mission. I would like to be one of the first to congratulate you on your official recognition as Dragonborn. There is still much to do, but I know you will be able to persevere against all the challenges that lie ahead. Well, I appreciate that. The pleasure is all mine. Delphine's plan to get you into the Embassy might work. You have a relatively low profile, and I don't think many people know you're Dragonborn yet. Regardless, we should speak to this Malborn person. Perhaps he can explain the plan in more detail. Well, it sounds like you want to come along. But I think it might be best if you wait here. Don't keep me waiting too long. <laughs> Okay. And you, Attar. Let's get going. Wait here. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. All right, and I need to get to Solitude. What's up? And here we are. Solitude. Let's I'm see. telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true.
Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Now, where is this malborn person? Seems there's always more to be done. It's so good to see you again. Oh yes, I think I remember you. Are any of you malborn? No. All I ask is to see my family. Ah. Good morning. You there. Are you malborn? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Really? Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. All right, then. Here's what I'll need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Well, I haven't given you anything yet. Why don't you just calm down? Here, I have some enchanted gear. Just for this occasion. Probably do. Um, what about Yes, I'll probably need some lock picks. That should do. I won't take any weapons. I should be able to conjure my own. Wait, what about... Yes, I think I think I'd like you to take the Galder amulet as well. Oh, and the ring of her, well. I mean, if I turn into a where, it, well. Yes, go ahead. You take that too. All right. Thank you, then. I will see you later. I suppose I should leave a little after he does. I have no business with you. Leave me. Are you sure about that? My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer... What a fascinating time to be alive. Mark me, these days will be remembered long after we're gone. Hmm. Oh, I suppose right, I should return to my papers. You probably should. What? No! I shouldn't have taken off the ring.
I'd stay back if I were you. You mm. think you stand a chance? taking off the ring could cause a transformation in the middle of the day. This is absolutely insane. Hopefully, there was no one around to see me transform back. Hmm, I had no idea that my, my werewolf abilities were being kept in check so prominently by that ring. Well, I hope nothing happens at the party. A display of color. Ah, and here you are. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, he's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready. I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Well, I suppose you're going to take my sword, too. All right, will this do? I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Fellow latecomer to Ellen Wynn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Well, and that sounds like a good plan for someone There's of your station. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? It all depends. Please, you first. I will just rest here a moment. Although it is damnably cold out here, I don't look forward to the trip back down. Cold? 
I hadn't Perhaps noticed. Might share a carriage after the party. Sure. I know, I Why know not? We just met. But think, by the time the party is over, we'll no doubt be fast friends. I look forward to it. Very well. I'll see you inside. Don't mind me. I'm perfectly insensible to the cold. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Here. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? <laughs> Thank you for moving on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So you're Ellenwyn. I've heard so much about you. Have you? All good, I trust. But you have me at a disadvantage. I'm afraid I know nothing about you. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your have permission you to uncork to the Arenthia Red? I can scarcely feed of the course. staff in my palace. I've told you before not I've to bother me with such trifles. Lately, yes, Madam Ambassador. Problem. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Thank you. This war has taken a You're too kind. To Let's <laughs> hope soon, for their sake. You speak true. Ah, oh, here you are. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. It's been docked in solitude for well over a month, and with no sign of shipping out anytime soon. Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull when she struck an iceberg, and Captain Sarkis Ah, it's Jarl Ravencrone. If your eyes and your ears are open, and your mind is free of judgment and expectation, you might learn much in this chamber. Are you having a good time? Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. All right, it's been a pleasure. May wisdom light your path. Fighting in the war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous of late. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's been no. some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. Are you? What have you heard? I don't recall seeing you at one of these before, and I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. Do you? And what brings you here? To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. Cover? Very well. Until next time. Have you visited Rorikstead lately? No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that grow there never fall. Ah, prevent us. Trust me, there's no place better to forge relationships with the movers and shakers of Skyrim. Quite a gathering, wouldn't you say? Blessings of the divine? Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. Don't let me keep you. No, I won't. Is the food and drink to your liking? Very much so, and thank you for asking. Splendid. Hello. Yeah, just between us, I've got more important things to do than attend these meaningless parties. And what brings you here? Ill luck. I'm a busy man, and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Ellenwyn. You don't look happy to be here. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. No, you wouldn't. But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm, and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. All right, well... Good luck. Victoria, there's someone I'd like you to meet.
Hello. It's a necessary part of my nice job to, to mix you. with the upper classes of Skyrim, such as they are. And what brings you to this party? There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. Until next Thank time. Thank you. Good day. Between the dragons and the storm cloaks, my coffers are running dry. I've spent many hours in counseling. A man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable Faith venture. And it divides. Ah, Jarl Sidgir. These Thalmor know how to treat a guest. I need your help with something. Well, let's hear it. I need you to cause a scene, get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Ah, I see. Very well, my friend. I'll do it. Where did he go? It's all for a good cause, old chap. Ah. Ulfric Stormcloak, the rightful High King. That's bordering on treason, man. Stand up! Stand up, I say! I don't understand. Did you say Ulfric you Stormcloak? Fine, fine. You fellow. retract your statement? Well. I mean, no, of course I condemn him in the most. Razman, and you promise to behave yourself this time. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. I protest. Yes, will, will you go through the door? My person. This time I'm completely you innocent. Idiot. Tell your men to stand down. I don't need any help dealing with this kind of fool. He isn't worth the trouble. I apologize for the disruption to such a fence. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Hurry, I need that ring back. I've spent many hours in council meetings. Where it comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? With the you know this is against the rules. The war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the well, door behind you. Don't screw them. So, come on. There were if someone missed me at the party. We're both outside the walls of White Run. Well, get back to what you are doing. I don't have time to listen to your prattling. Got to admire I'll her. take care of this. Like the patrols might notice something's wrong. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. This rebellion is put down. Good Did luck. You see those roads on your own. Who are they with? More of the Emissary's treaty enforcement? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess himself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. You wonder how he's supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon mm, I might as well just check and see if there's anything valuable. Eat the mages first. Oh, what's might this? Give enough time to kill it. Ah, I'd like to see those yeah. bastards I'll take leave it. Down. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds.
He's not going through the door. Oh no. would stand in the corner that I was in. Looks like I've lost him for now. something else then. Did he run off? Still several guards here. Let's see whose magic can outlast who. Anyone else? I only killed. Well, maybe I did kill three. There were only three. Too powerful. Hmm. That's convenient. All right, we're gonna go with Ice Storm. Someone there? Where are you? How would anyone know? There. Where are you? You can't hide from me.
who keeps hitting me with lightning? Where are you? There. Resistance to cold. Where are you? I'll see you. Interesting. What else have I got? of magic. Bolt will do its job for me. I'm going to find you. There's still someone else here. Side. Well, All right. I think I've cleared out the courtyard. But I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you Silence. Know. Do not... We have other informants who are less... It's what you want, obviously. Don't run. Spare me, please. I will not spare you. Hmm, these bound weapons are certainly much stronger. on to protect my identity. My lockpicking skills are increasing. After being dormant for so long, I really don't understand the rules of this world, how 
some skills will level and then stop. And then some skills just don't level at all, it would seem. Oh, I don't have unlimited lockpicks. I'd better be more judicious. So what do we have here? Hmm, I'll take the gold and emerald circ circlet. And the golden ruby. The daggers will leave. I can make this look like it was a, a common burglary. Well, I've certainly done a excellent job of reading. I should probably take this health potion in case. Something goes terribly wrong. Well, let's see if he's... Yes. Is everyone too powerful here without this common god? There we are. Investigation current status. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. As informant has identified, oh, an informant has identified a possible lead who we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Oh, a dossier on Delphine, a female Breton in her mid-fifties. Hmm, I'd say she looks young for fifty. Suppose I should take this, the interrogation chamber, and a dossier on Ulfric Stormcloak. Interesting. I'll take this as well. All right, then, let's go.
Excellent. You've done an excellent job. Looks like some more information here. A dossier on the Agaviri settlements. Hmm, I could spend all day reading these things. And here, a dossier on Esburn. Nord in his late seventies. in here and we have your accomplice surrender uh -huh. immediately or you both die really never mind silence I'm dead already move interesting is he dead i told you i don't know anything else about it Resilient, I'll say that much for you. No. <laughs> All right, let's see. Interrogation key, trapdoor key. Ah, Malborn's dead. What a pity. Now I was trying to destroy you. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? There's no time to explain. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. You go ahead. I'm not done here. Wait, I have a better question. Who are you, and what are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Hmm. Well, you go ahead, then. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. Hmm. What about if you make it out? Which you won't. I don't know what you know. But it's not leaving these walls. Finished. Hmm. Now, this is a proper mess. That I can't wait for them to clean up. My helmet, my, my disguise keeps coming off. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay. 
I hear something. There it is. Another unusual gem. I thought that was a an insight book, but apparently not. wasn't a dragon, I was just hearing things as I was able to travel away. Who is this over here? Zora Fairchild. I'm glad you're enjoying your freedom. All right, I need to see Delphine. seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. I must say that was quite an exhilarating adventure using my sneaking abilities and magic and conjured weapons. <laughs> oh. Greetings, Gore. That armor looks like it could use a polish. You made it out alive. Uh -oh. at least. Your gear is safe in my room, so as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Well, my followers aren't here. That's disappointing. But the Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. As I stated earlier, we both witnessed a black dragon bringing the other dragon back to life. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Why did you send me if you weren't going to believe me? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? The dragon. The Thalmor are looking for someone named Esburn. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So, 
The Thalmor think the Blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Very well, then. Any idea what happened to my companions? Do you need something? My companions? I suppose I'll get my things first. What is it? Companions, I summon you to me, Bandit Chief. Who is the Bandit Chief? Who are you? Well, that's interesting. Yes. Until next time. I have no idea who you are. All right. Let's get out of here. We still have some more work ahead of us. Oh, don't tell me that they're not going to follow me now. So it would seem. Zell's ass. How are you doing? All right. Until next time. Um. Yes, Biko Gel. Follow me. Yes, I believe I've waited long enough. You have. Now, what happened to. Right behind you. Die to give myself up. Yes. I really don't understand. What happened to um, Atar? I'll have to summon him again. All right, Atar. We going? Yes, Either follow way. me. Go to the college, Dad said. Use your smarts. All right, I'm this bandit chief. Which college he meant. I want to destroy him. Let's try a bound mace. There we are. I'm not sure how you became a follower, but you're dismissed. All right, come on. We have to prepare for another mission.